remember Robert Fulgham's book, Everything I Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. Well, I don't know that that's true for me, but I would say that everything I need to know I learned from dog training. Dog training, it turns out, is for me my basic paradigm for understanding how we operate in the world, because it is, after all, about changing behavior. And it turns out that the way you make change in the world for yourself or for broader communities is by changing behavior. And so I love studying behavior and how behavior changes to learn about not just how you train dogs, but how you train yourself, teach other people. And so it's not surprising then that when it came to this month's theme of persistence, I would look at it through that dog training lens. And one of the things that I know from studying behavior is that if you want to change behavior, you really kind of need to know what the behavior is. You need clarity about the behavior you have and the behavior you want and how you define it because you can't change something if you don't know what it is. Which led me to wonder what exactly we mean when we say persistence. What is persistence? We tend to think of synonyms as being things like determination, grit, maybe even moral courage. Harriet Tubman going back time after time to bring people out of slavery would be a shining example of persistence of having the courage to power through again and again under difficult circumstances. And we're all familiar with the nevertheless she persisted viral description, let's say, of Elizabeth Warren speaking the truth to power and just not giving up. But is that really the definition of persistence? Or is persistence just continuing to do something? duration? Is it persistence when you just stick through doing the same thing, whether it's a good idea or not? Is it persistence to stay for years in a job that you purely hate because you don't try to find a different job, even enter a new career path? Is it persistence to stay in an argument with someone who is just not going to change your, their mind and you're just not going to get anywhere. Well, that could certainly be persistence as well. Even holding a grudge could be persistence. So what does persistence really look like? What is the persistence that we might want to cultivate? Well, one of the primary processes for training dogs, at least the way I do it, is something called shaping. And it's taught me a good deal about what I mean by persistence. Shaping involves using a little toy that makes a sound, a clicker, to mark the behavior that you want, to say, you're going to get a cookie for this, you're going to get something you want for the thing you were doing when you heard that noise. And then from there, you start to choose behaviors that are closer and closer to the end behavior that you want. So you're shaping the direction of, in this case, the dog, toward a final goal behavior. But that only works if you get some variation in the behavior that the dog offers you. If the dog or your human learner or whoever always does the same thing, then you don't get much choice in what it is that you have to shape, to choose, I want you to go this direction. So if I were, say, to decide to shape my dog to back up around a chair, I'd start with marking him coming near the chair, marking him for shifting his feet, and then maybe I could start clicking for any kind of motion backwards and then anything that moved a little bit backwards and sideways until eventually out of the behaviors that he offered me, some of which would be totally not what I wanted, going under the chair or putting his chin on the chair, 
once he gives me that variety of behaviors, I can choose something that I want to reward to give him hints of how to shape his own behavior. And so when you think of it that way, you aren't looking for persistence in the sense of, I will keep bearing down on this thing that I'm doing, even if it's not working. The persistence of shaping is trying things and being clear that none of it is failure, because if he didn't do the things that weren't what I was looking for, putting his chin on the chair or crawling underneath it, I wouldn't be getting the variety of behaviors to choose from. So it's only when we're flexible, when we try new things, when we make attempts, that persistence turns into something beyond just brute determination to do what probably isn't working to begin with. Persistence that works, persistence that is able to shape our world around us is maybe moral courage, maybe grit, maybe determination, maybe it's knowing that whatever it is we do is not a failure, that whatever we do is a trial, so long as we stay in the game, so long as we don't just give up and walk away, that things change, behaviors change, and our persistence pays off in exploring possibilities of making new worlds tiny bit by tiny bit over time.